Hey everyone, it's Dave here, and today we're checking out the official release to Project Terminus. I know I look a little bit crazy, I'm basically preparing for tomorrow's live stream of Facebook Connect, though while I'm recording this intro it's already done, so I hope everything went fine. <laughs> so Project Terminus is a survival horror adventure game where you throw into the city of Paris, being completely demolished by some unknown forces. We actually tried out the alpha demo of it almost two years ago, it's crazy. Back on Quest 1, back on side quest, there was like a rough concept of what the game will be. Now from the trailer we see, the overall idea didn't really change, you're still trying to survive in the metro of Paris, encountering various things on the way, and try to get the hell out of there. It's extra weird for me, but at the same time very much immersive because I actually live here, so like I can recognize every single corner that we're gonna see in today's gameplay, well unless the destruction really changed the scenery, but aside from Holodia this is actually the first time playing something that my real life kinda blends into the virtual reality. What's also interesting about this new setting is is that it's possible to play in a co-op mode, which I'm like the most interested about. We don't really have a lot of survival on quests that can be played in the multiplayer mode aside from some obvious shooters, but this is more like an adventurous experience. In the footage we also see that it doesn't really have a high level graphics going on, so we'll be pretty much betting on the vibes and immersion of being underground and progressing throughout the storyline. I'm very proud of the devs that managed to get on the future store all the way back from side quest and get out the full release of Terminus. Well then, let's change the scenario to Paris in chaos. <laughs> Why every horror game starts with us being at home? <laughs> Escape to skip? I mean, no, play. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> okay, this is crazy. <laughs> Start the game! <laughs> What was that? <laughs> I'm burning. Before starting, you will follow a quick tutorial to configure your options. Wait, <laughs> we use right uh, thumbstick to move, but left to turn for some reason. Alright, I mean, not standard stuff, but sure. What in the. <laughs> that is a rough avatar. <laughs> Yeah, let's go casual, whatever. You can play single player or multi cop online. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's actually what I want to do. Arcade mode contains different game modes. Oh, oh okay. So weird that I move with my right controller, but I turn with left. Can I switch it? No, I can't. Wow, that's gonna be interesting. Wait, I know what I do. <laughs> I'll switch my hands. <laughs> I mean, my hands is gonna be inverted now, but at least I walk properly. <laughs> no games currently available on this map. Well, then I'm creating one. Mm, no one's playing after the connect. Oh, well. I guess let's see the update that this game has from side quest Oh my god La station église de Pantin sera fermée du 5 août au 19 août 2021 pour cause de Oh my god this is so weird like what station is this even Bobby knew <laughs> I literally live here Where's my pass Oh in my bag great Oh yeah that's my <laughs> Yeah but <laughs> I don't need it <laughs> Oh my god, I have inverted hands. It's gonna be a struggle, but... Oh my god, I'm literally in the metro. What the hell? Are those advertisements of other games? Okay, we're on the line 5. Where are we going? Well, I'm free. Madame <laughs> It's the same avatar Oh my god the sound <laughs> of the station What the hell? Oh my god What the hell? Hello? Oh, don't look at me like that. Oh, to the top. <laughs> Hi. Um, usually there are lights on the station. Oh, okay, here we go. 
It's even the same, like you could. <laughs> okay. What? Where are we going? Bobini Kosh Gardner. Let's go to Gardner, maybe. Eat delicious camembert at a rendezvous. You don't really speak French. I speak French. Oh my god, what? <laughs> I mean, okay, the graphics are rough. I just have a different perspective because I live here. What the hell? I mean, this is not like the worst. It's pixelated and trash, but it resembles like actual Paris. Austerlitz. Uh, do we have manifestation going on? Okay, yeah, <laughs> let's go. What's going on? Do we have Gilles Jean? <laughs> Is it 2020? Oh, wait a minute. Paris is in flames. Uh, <laughs> I think I should just. Yeah, this time. Madari, la station quai de la Rapée. Merci de votre compréhension. A problem occurred. No stop at quai de la Rapée. Sorry for the inconvenience. Hey! <laughs> Stop! Oh my god. Here we go with the horror. Find a way outside. What happened? Do we have a flashlight or anything? Hmm. Can I cross? Oh, I can, okay. This tunnel might collapse. Swing your arms for more to run. But I don't see anything. <laughs> ah! Go, 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 go. Crash to pass through. What the hell? <laughs> But well, usually it's up, if you want to escape. Batteries. I guess I have to store it in a backpack. Oh my god, it's so weird with inverted controls. Okay, so um, obviously we have to go up, if you want to go to the surface. Wait, there's no TV in the metro like that. <laughs> Il arrivon. Who? What's going on? Oh my god. Oh 
now barricades down the big hallway are too weak. I found a way to block this fence. Yeah, I know I have the phone and just stuff, but to consume an item, put it in your mouth and reach the grip button. Car here you won't hurt. So this is a survival, okay, great. Good, what's going on? Only five slots, okay. Again, this is very weird for me. I actually live here. This is a big space. Is it a junk? Ah, is this actually the footage from 2020? I feel like, yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. But I saw zombies in the trailer, so... Okay, give me this phone. <laughs> I'm connected. I'll just, what's going on, okay. Where do we go? I'm not completely sure. I'm not going down. Though, I guess I'll be forced eventually, I feel like. Obviously the graphics are rough and stuff like that, but as I said, I have a unique perspective on it. Like, I recognize those places and stuff like that. God damn it. Well, I guess it is a survival after all. Yay. I wish I would play with someone, like that's just so much more fun, especially if we're talking about horror. Uh, this is a dead end though, and I'm already recording enough footage. Okay, well, it's just how it is for an overview, but I feel like I would be down to do a co playthrough of it. I mean, it's not my thing, but because I live here, it's like I'm intrigued what's going on. Paris while being in the apocalypse. Please just switch the controls. Like, we should move with left hand and rotate with right. That's the standard in VR, and that's how it should stay. I literally switched my controller to just comfortably move around because I'm not used to the inverted ones. We have, like, backpack. We have, like, things to put it. Essentially, this is, like, more adventurous, not, like, full-on action horror. So, I'm more down with that. Obviously, graphically, it's, like, a little bit rough. I feel like the avatars were a little bit too low in terms of details but maybe the immersion will like elevate that speaking of that i really feel like i'm in the parisian metro but that's because i live here so i feel like an extra layer of mixing the reality with virtual reality <laughs> Yeah, I'm not a fan of those sounds, but they put you in the mood, for sure. I don't think it's gonna be anything high-end, but coming from the experience I remember from SideQuest, this is much more upgraded. It's still in the same lane, but it actually feels like a full game, so we'll have to see.